Hello again, I'm Andrew Kellett, Chairman of the RACDS, and I'd like to introduce Lorna Ogilvy, our Chair-elect. Lorna will be speaking to us in just a moment, but first let me welcome you to another video blog letting you know what's happening on the RSCDS board. First though, can I say thank you to you all in your branches for all the work you're continuing to do with your classes, dances and other activities, giving people lots of opportunities to enjoy Scottish country dancing. We've held a very successful winter school in Pitlochry and a spring fling in Paris. And I hope you've had the opportunity to look at the new RSCDS website, which offers us lots of new capabilities. There's still work to do, but I hope you can already see some improvements. We're busy preparing for summer school, and it's certainly not too late for you to book your place there this year. Do come to St Andrews. It's sure to be a wonderful experience. Even now, we're beginning to think about our AGM in November. As always, there are positions on the board and on the committees, and we'd welcome applications from members everywhere to help us run the RSCDS. Also at the AGM, the board will be proposing a motion to reduce the amount of money that members pay annually to the centre, with the aim of making more resources available to you in the branches to support and encourage Scottish country dancing wherever you are. And thinking about the AGM, that's really Lorna's <laughs> area of business. Uh, I've been helping to run the AGM for many years and it is called the AGM and Conference Weekend, but in actual fact, although the AGM is a very important time for everyone to contribute to discussions, it isn't really a conference in the widest sense. So we've looked at changing the name this year we have winter school and summer school, and we have spring fling. So from this year, we will now have the autumn gathering, because surely what we all do is gather together to meet and do the business of the society, but more importantly, to meet with friends and equally importantly, to dance. So from this year, it will be known as the autumn gathering. Uh, details will be on the website within the next couple of weeks. The programme is almost finalised and we look forward to welcoming you to Perth in November. I would like to say something about what else you're involved in. Well, the other remit I've been given since I took on chair-elect in November is to chair the Centenary Committee. The RSCDS celebrates its centenary in 2023 and I now have a fairly large working group with representation from the office, from the board and from members and branches around the world. They've all been asked to give initial ideas by the end of May and then these will be taken to the board in June. And over the next three years we'll be putting the planning into operation and we'll keep members informed either through Scottish Country Dancer or of course on the website and we hope to be providing something that will leave a legacy for our CDS, that will also allow enjoyment all over the world and that will have some memorabilia and we'll be using our archives. Excellent, something for us all to look forward to. Yes. For now, cheerio. Bye bye.